Hello, welcome, Nate here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a, a conference using the 3CX uh, version 15 conferencing. It's actually used through your 3CX web client as opposed to simply doing it in past versions such as 14. Um, and earlier, you, use, you click from your 3CX phone if you're not already in your web client. You can click here and what it will do is it will bring up your 3CX web client and if you're not logged in already you're going to need a uh, login using your extension number and your password. If you don't know your password you have to get with your system administrator and they can get that for you. Um, let's just assume you have all that and you're logged in and this is the screen you will see. Now so from here you select which type of conference it is. It can be video, it can be audio, it can be now or it can be later. All right, so let's just assume it's for later, um, just because it gives us one more step, I guess. You pick the date and time. Okay, here, subject, you just put a short description. Short description, and in the notes, you put in your, uh, uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. You just put in uh, some details, right? Notes to participant. Um, what we have set up already is a is a is a DID that's already specific for our conference bridge, and we have that in the template. So, um, you know that could be done. But uh, so just put some details in here, and this announcements if you want to be able to have announced if uh, if a party joins. You know, uh, think uh, Bob has entered the conference. Bob has exited the conference. And then down here, it actually interacts with your with whatever email you use. So you have these three different options here, Office 365, Google, and Outlook online. Um, and after you select that, just hit Create Meeting. And if you notice up here, it made a, it blocked. Um, what it was gonna do is actually gonna bring up my Google Calendar. So I'll just uh, unblock that for now and wait for it to come up. And then it has the details. So here's the details. Right? So here's the details that I typed in. And then this is what the actual back end email template will show. So uh, basically, this number we have statically static statically assigned as our DID conference bridge. This number right here, this conference ID. This is uh, uh, automatically generated and this will be unique each time a new conference is is uh, is created. So um, keep that in mind. And then again, eternal employees can join the conference by dialing 700. That means uh, people that are within the 3CX system can simply join by dialing 700 and then entering this unique ID that is uh, generated. And then you can add guests. Um, if you're using Google, you just simply type them in right there and then an email will get sent out with all that information. It will go on their calendar and they can accept and all that good stuff. So um, depending on what email provider you have, you know, maybe look a little different, but uh, for the most part, it's all the same. So. Um, hope this in, um, hope this video was helpful. It is different in previous versions because as in previous versions you were actually able to create it right here. So um, now it brings up your web client. So and to be honest, that's where everything's going to. A lot of these different apps they're kind of going away. Like on your phone, you'll see that's that those will all be going away. Everything's going to be web based as as far as like browser and that type of uh, technology and not so much apps. Um, it's kind of starting to go away. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Please like. If you have any comments, definitely leave them below. I'll answer them as soon as possible. I'm um, usually really good to getting back. And uh, yeah, like and share. Thank you.